Greetings, folks, and welcome to Vinyl Therapy Sessions, June 5th, 2021. I am your host, Kogo Smooth, and boy, let me tell y'all something. I know I didn't have a video for y'all last week, but I promise you, I definitely made up for it in this <laughs> segment. So, without further ado... Let's start off with the big stuff because, man, your boy's running out of space. All right. So smooth is almost out of space. <laughs> your boy couldn't help himself. There was a deal on GameStop. And, uh, yeah, this was instead of going for the normal price of... Whatever it was going for, it was going for $10, $15 less. So I was like, okay, let's get you, boy. Look at him. So big. Big Grogu. So I was like, okay, why not? Let's do this. <laughs> he was a big boy. But he's not the only big thing that I got. Uh, coming up next, you got another one that came in GameStop with a good deal. Mando with <laughs> Dijarin with his boy little Grogu <laughs> shiny helmet and everything big size yeah now you're wondering wait I could have sworn you had this before I know right well the thing was because the price was so good I bought a second one and yeah this one I will be using to display open that's right folks Open! I'm going to have one that's open for the actual display instead of just collection because I'm like, you know what? This thing looks like a good piece. Shiny, chrome, little baby Grogu. Yeah. Looking cute. All right. Uh, <laughs> something that was not for me, however, I did end up getting some Mortal Kombat's right here. Starting off with Mortal Kombat X Sub Zero. This one is not for me. This one's for my one and only first nephew. <laughs> I, I have more than one nephew, but he's my first like nephew. So it's for him since he's into this Mortal Kombat thing right now. All right. And so of course, you can't have Sub-Zero without getting a Scorpion, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get over here! Come here! <laughs> when I was younger, I wasn't sure which one it was. Was it Get Over Here or Come Here? I always thought it was Come Here. <laughs> Anyways, you better come here, bitch. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Kind of cool. Let's see what that box art looks like again. Uh, that's what's up. And one more for my young nephew since I was able to get him the movie version of Scorpion. I decided I might as well give him the bookend and get the Mortal Kombat movie. It's a zero. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here we go. And yes, that's that for that. Next up, your boy went to Middle Earth again. That's right, folks. Again. And got, well, the Witch King of On the Fell Beast. This was a pretty little neat fig. I was like, okay, I need this one because uh, I, 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 ever since I was a kid, I always kind of liked that um, scene in the book where he goes up against uh, that one girl. I forgot her name already. It's been a while. But yeah, he's out there. He makes threats. And she's like, well, I am no man. And stabs him in the face. <laughs> And he's dead! He's dead! 
Yeah, I got it because like, yeah, that fell beast looked kind of cool with his armored head and everything looking all good. Let's see. Then I went and got me a Samwise Gamgee Glow in the Dark. I didn't really care much for the this glow in the dark thing, but I was like, eh, it's Samwise. Whatevs. He's part of the fellowship, so yeah, he's gotta hang out with Frodo. Right. Yeah, I got Samwise. And then I got should have started off with our hero. Frodo! Frodo Baggins. <laughs> When I was a kid, though, Frodo wasn't my hero. It was Bilbo, because I, re I read The Hobbit first, not The Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah. Frodo and his boys, the dwarves, kicking it, you know? So yeah, that's, that's that squad right here of hobbits, right? Hobbits, and then... Mary! Mary, Brandy Buck, see? With his, well, at least it looks like a beer stein, <laughs> his mug of beer <laughs> or pint. <laughs> what about second breakfast? <laughs> Even though it was Pippin who was saying that, not Mary. But yeah, this guy's part of that fellowship. And uh, let's see, fool of a took. Here we are, <laughs> Pippin. <laughs> what about second breakfast? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Where are we going? Yep, here we go. And yeah, look, he, he, they definitely came and said, I should get a tree beard. Tree beard looks money. Yeah, he does. You know what? I think I'm getting a gosh damn tree beard. <laughs> He looks so cool. <laughs> oh, man. See, look at that. Four out of the nine, right? I know I did one more. Yeah, oh, here we go. Boromir. The dude who was harassing Frodo for the ring. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> man, when I watched this in the theater and I saw Boromir take them arrows... Got me all sad. I was like, Too bad I already knew it because I read the book before watching the movie, so I knew it was going to happen. But when you're watching it in the movie theater, watching Sean Bean get, get killed again, <laughs> you're like, oh man, this is sad. Well, yeah, look at that. Five out of the four of the fellowship. And you saw me with like three a couple weeks back. And you know, got the last member. You shall not pass! <laughs> Gandalf. You know what I'm saying? Ian McKellen. He is a better Gandalf than Magneto in my opinion. You know, my opinion. Yes, sir. Gandalf was his best role. Gandalf's so OP though, just whooping everyone's ass, even Balrogs and shit. <laughs> ah, here we go. Gandalf and the... here we go. I believe this is one of the last ones. Mister Anderson, <laughs> Elrond. The Hot Topic exclusive. He's so cool in his red. What up, blood? <laughs> Get up. <laughs> red belt. <laughs> Ready to jujitsu your ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. More like glam drain. But yeah, I always liked this dude. Hugo Weaving, good job playing this dude. Great actor. You need you need to have more roles. You know what I mean? And uh, a couple of other things that came in. Sakura from Naruto. 
I guess I'm, you know, after picking this up, I'm forced to pick up Sasuke, who I'm not really a big fan of per se. But to complete the trio of teams, looks like Sasuke has to be in here. But yeah, so I got Sakura learning under our girl Tsunade. So yeah, that's that for the Naruto's, the Naruts. <laughs> and last of the pops, last but not least of the pops. Prince, but this ain't for me. This is a third eye version. This is for Team Urbina. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all big Prince fans. You need to purify yourselves in the water of Lake Minnetonka. You heard me? <laughs> you and young Anna. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the only thing one you're going to be missing so far is around the world in the day version but you already got classic purple rain and third eye girl i wonder if they made the buttocks one for y'all <laughs> if they did it's probably an exclusive <laughs> want some pancakes Oh, no, no, no. Actually, he goes, want some grapes? <laughs> <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> Game. Blouses. <laughs> the Chappelle show was so awesome, guys. For all you young bucks who missed out on that way back in the day, y'all need to go get that. <laughs> oh, never mind. Don't, don't, don't watch it. Y'all could die of offense. <laughs> you guys would die from the offense. <laughs> At any rate, folks, this is all that I got for this week's vinyl therapy sessions. Um, I am your host, Coco Smooth. So until next video, ciao.